What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So quick little video. I know I was supposed to make an update video like two weeks ago, but ended up getting sick, getting off the diet. Um, I think I gained somewhere around like four pounds back. Uh, so it took a while to kind of fix it and, and get going in a positive direction. So this morning I weighed uh, 312, which is the lowest I've weighed in probably two years. Um, so that's pretty insane to me. Like, I don't remember the last time I weighed that low. So, uh, 312 pounds is, uh, that's, that's low, <laughs> uh, compared to the last two years, I would say. Uh, maybe not two years, but definitely a year and a half. So, <clears throat> a few things have changed. As far as my supplements, I am still taking Peak Sleep by BPN and BPN Strong Greens. So I'm taking those. I will probably not cut those out, to be honest with you. I, I just, I know they're, I'm probably better off without it to some extent because my diet's so dialed in now. But I really, 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 really uh, have a lot of benefits to get from those, to be honest. I feel completely different. And my sleep is insane. Like, I can get six hours of normal sleep and feel great. So... Uh, those two supplements. Another thing, so some changes, some things I added. Honey, so just a little bit on my finger, and that goes a long way. Like, I don't, sorry, this fly is landing all over me. Um, that goes a long way, honey. Just squeeze a little bit on my finger, and it's good. And it's just raw, unfiltered honey. So, a lot of sugar in it, but it's all completely natural. There's nothing added in this. This fly does not leave me alone. <laughs> so, uh, I am no longer eating apples. I switched that out for blackberries. I'll have just a handful here and there. Some days I go without them completely. This fly is on my phone, but just as long as it's not on me or the camera on my phone, that should be fine, right? So, um, blackberries, just a handful here and there. That's what I do. Now, meat has probably been one of the biggest things that have actually changed. Um... And show you so i eat a lot of bison this first row is all bison i am not eating sausage hardly at all anymore and i have pork is something i'm trying to cut out this is grass-fed beef i need to get some more and lamb and here's some liver i plan on um eating liver learning how to cook it properly i've never really messed around with liver so i don't know like <laughs> i don't know exactly what to what to do with it and make it taste good. So I'll have to look up some stuff, but definitely gonna start eating organs. Uh, I'm gonna cook them. I'm not fucking insane. I'm gonna eat them raw, but uh, yeah, that's where I am. As far as uh, how I feel, uh, obviously it's a very low inflammation type of diet. Uh, I eat mostly meat almost every day and the benefits of that is insane. I'm over 300 pounds. I'm a big guy, muscle and fat, and I have always had aches and pains in my knees um, and just everywhere all over my body. Nothing. I don't feel, I don't feel jack shit. And um, another thing that's really cool, uh, I'm not going to get into the personal side of this, but my kidney, uh, like, nothing. I don't feel anything in my kidney whatsoever. And that is one of the craziest things to me. <laughs> I, I, I just, no pain. No pain in my left kidney at all. And uh, I, it's been so awesome. And uh, no pain whatsoever. I feel great. I have plenty of energy. I started working out two days ago. So two days ago, I decided to go ahead and do something a little bit different. I'm starting a 60-day straight, like, perfect diet. And um, doing some other things with that as well. I'm not playing Xbox or anything. And I plan on working out every single day. And two days ago, I started that. And I'm going until November the 19th, which will be the 60th day of doing it straight. So um, <clears throat> last two days, first day, I had a really hard workout. Like, no problems. Did some sprints, went, a, went for a jog, did a lot of lifting. Uh, I'm working out just at my house right now. I don't have a gym membership, but, uh, later on in this month, I'm gonna go get a gym membership and then, uh, well, I'll be working out at the gym, so I have a lot more equipment to use. So, uh, as far as working out, 
every single day for 60 days. I'm also doing rehab work and stretching and everything. So uh, one thing I've really paid attention to, because I know this is for the long term, um, loose skin. So I got a big midsection. I'm a big guy. Like if you see me, you'll probably see uh, my stomach and my hips first. Well, I, I, I'm very, very, I'm, I'm very self-conscious of that. And it's kind of weird because typically I'm not like that. There's very few things that I'm always worried about, you know. <laughs> I think uh, how I appear as far as intellectually, if I even pronounce that correctly, right, <laughs> uh, matters a lot more to me than how I look, sadly. So as far as uh, loose skin, I am super worried about it. So I did a lot of research and I'm starting to take a lot of different steps right now to try and take care of that. One is soap. I changed up my soap game. I'm using a Dr. Squatch, or Squatch, I don't know exactly how it's pronounced. Um, and I'm taking a shower every single day and scrubbing the shit out of every single inch of my body. So uh, just making sure I, I'm trying to lotion up my skin, right? And we're even gonna buy me some lotion here pretty soon and I'm gonna be putting that on. You know, when your uh, skin stretches out, uh, <clears throat> You know, think of like a rubber band. Uh, when it gets all cracked and everything, do you think it's going to come back in that easy? Well, not if it's all cracked and dried out. So it's kind of the same thing with your skin. I'm trying to make sure I, I got some lotioned up skin. So <laughs> uh, there's also... What's the matter, boy? So um, that's... Uh, one thing I'm doing, there's also some foods you can eat that I might add in later if I start noticing my skin getting really out there. As of right now, I don't notice any loose skin. It's just a worry. You know, I don't want to get down to, you know, 220, 210 and be ripped out of my freaking mind again and, and be in great shape, feel amazing. My body's able to function the way it's supposed to. And I go to the lake to go swimming or hang out with my kiddos and... I got loose skin everywhere and plus you can deal with infections and things like that look i'm 26 so uh i, I don't want to deal with that shit so i'm trying to do everything i can i know genetics play a part in it as well so if i have to get the surgery i i will i have scars all over my body for multiple surgeries i had cancer in seventh grade i had two surgeries with that uh, trying to help my wife out of a creek bed i split my shin open no shit so i have a massive scar across my shin <laughs> Um, I mean, I got a scar like on my chin. I got scars everywhere, so I don't care if I have more. I just care if I'm healthy and I'm at least halfway cool with how I look. So, um, I'm definitely going to do something about the loose skin, uh, every step of the way if I can. Um, because that's going to be somewhere around like 120 pounds if I, if I make it down to 220. Uh, I don't know if, you know, I'll build so much muscle, which is the next point. Um, I don't know if I'm going to build so much muscle that I can't get down uh, healthy-wise past 220. So maybe that'll be the stopping point. But the, uh, as far as uh, building muscle, I'm also trying to build as much as I can naturally. I'm not on TRT or anything. And um, I'm going to try and fill out my body as much as, as much as I can so my skin has something to grow to, right? and fill out my body a little bit more help with some of that loose skin in certain areas so uh that's what's going on there uh blood work uh this saturday i'm going to the doctor and i'm going to get blood work on my testosterone and get everything checked so i can kind of see where i'm at i know i'm 28 pounds down for my heaviest which is gonna make a difference in your body but i got a long way to go so i just like to know where i am right now and if things get better or worse or things increase with my testosterone or go down. Um, definitely want to try and be as smart as I can about this and focus on the lo the longevity part of it. So um, last, last thing, the most important part, meat. Obviously I'm doing mostly the carnivore diet. Most meals is just meat. <laughs> um, I, pork and chicken, I have cut out. So chicken, there's no fat. Your body's either running off carbs you know, carbohydrates, or it's running off fats. So uh, there's no fat in chicken. So I'm cutting that out completely. Uh, 
pork. I'll get to that here in a second, but mainly what I'm eating is uh, bison, grass-fed ground beef, and I got lamb I plan on drying. So that's kind of the main gist of it. If I can afford steak, I will go with steak. So, uh, you know, fatty ribeye, I feel awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I feel awesome when I eat that. Also when I eat bison, which bison's pretty lean, but I mean it has a lot of great stuff in it and you know I I like I feel good when I eat bison. So I'm definitely not cutting that out as of right now. Um pork, so that's probably the biggest change. I was eating a lot of pork, a lot of sausage, bacon, things like that. Um uh if you look at how pigs eat I mean, you are essentially eating, because they are what they eat, and you're eating them. And uh, they're very unhealthy <laughs> animals. <laughs> when it can, I mean, if I ate what pigs ate, I would probably die. So, um, I'm cutting that out, trying to cut it out. And plus, I've, I've read a lot of, uh, I know, folk tinfoil hat conspiracy mode here. But I've read a lot of things saying that uh, they have certain parasites that cannot be cooked out of them. I, of course, they're supposedly not harmful, but I, I don't know. I, I've changed my opinion on a lot of weird things like that lately. So that's that's it. That's all I can think of. A lot of rehab work as well. In the morning, I stretch. Uh, I have a little vibrator thing that I use on everything to really loosen up my muscles and my joints and uh, everything like that. Well, not my joints, but definitely my muscles. And uh, a lot of stretching. <laughs> cold showers. Uh, I, I think that's it. That's everything. <laughs> it's been like two weeks since I made a, an update on this. So 312 pounds. Uh, by this Sunday, I hope to weigh somewhere around 305. Maybe it's already Thursday. So maybe not, right? We'll have to see just wherever I land. Um, I don't get upset if I don't meet goals like that. It's just like on an all meat diet, you drop fat like that so um <laughs> it was a rough i would say two well it's almost been two weeks since the uh last video i think so it's been rough trying to get back on it but i've been on it uh off and on for the most part for a week now and then two days ago i started the 60 days straight where i'm doing a lot more than just uh here i'm gonna put you down boy where i'm doing a lot more than just you're fine um, eating a perfect diet for 60 days, uh, taking care of my physical and mental health all along that way. So that's it. That's the video. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you guys later. See ya.